Okay, so we kind of talked a little bit about this, but it was more in generalized terms. Are you able to share um, maybe some harder numbers as opposed to loose concepts of the price points? So just again, to recap, I would say that we expect a steady increase in the value of XRP and XLM by 2025. And uh, it's very hard to see specific numbers when it comes to this, but I would say not less than double what is now. So after all, we see a substantial rise with a continued growth in 2030 and 2040, because these projects are based on our confidence in the long term, of course, uh, viability and adoption of these assets. So if people, let's say, are only interested in short term, so a couple months or a year or a year and a half and two years, they should be an increase in double, potentially triple the current price that it is. I, I have no words for that. I, I know you know what I'm going to say to you in PM after this, though. <laughs> but yes. Okay. So obviously, guys, we're trying to dissuade people from being short-term thinkers and transition their minds to being long-term thinkers, even though everybody on the call knows it's going to rise more than just you know double or triple. We're not going to put any numbers on this because by putting let's say more concrete numbers or more uh, realistic numbers on this, that's what causes a lot of the short-term thinking. And it's what causes a lot of the greed factor to come out of people. So okay. I think that explains why Ben says what he says. It's very important to understand that for those people who are interested in, let's say, short-term success, they should expect a short-term reward, right? So if you try to, let's say, get in, get out fast, it's going to end just as fast as it started. So it's very important to develop a mindset in which the things that take longer time usually take a longer time to enjoy as well. So that is why it's very important for everybody that is here and uh, talks to us and listens to our channels is to understand that we are just trying to help people understand that the more they get involved into this, the more they're going to enjoy it afterwards. Thank you. I love that, Ben. And remember, guys, if you're listening to this call, whether you're already in QSI or you're you know, looking at joining QSI, maybe you found our information elsewhere, we're looking for humanitarians of the world. We're looking for future world.